Welcome to the Sportsman Shootout. In this episode, we're setting our sights on two big four ATVs, the new Polaris Sportsman XP850 EFI and the Can-Am Outlander 800 HO EFI. Back in 96, Polaris Sportsman forever changed the way we work, hunt, and ride. The competition's been shooting at it ever since and missing. Now, before we get to the shootout, I want to introduce you to the next generation of Sportsman ATVs, the all-new Sportsman XP. But whatever you ride now, think about having more power, quicker acceleration, easier steering, and the smoothest ride you can imagine. That's the Sportsman XP. Just look at it, huh? I mean, if that's not pure off-road power, I don't know what is. The Sportsman XP is 99% new and 100% Sportsman. It's got all the features that made the Sportsman the world's best-selling automatic ATV. Independent rear suspension, on-demand true all-wheel drive, and of course, the proven automatic transmission. All better than ever, and all designed for extreme performance. Now for power, <laughs> this thing's got an 850cc twin. It's longitudinally mounted with dual throttle body fuel injection and 70 horsepower. Now, a new transmission helps put all that power to the ground. It's got roller clutch technology, fixed center distance clutches, and an MBL 5,000 mile belt for big bore durability. But more power requires more cooling. And the XP radiator is 20% larger, positioned almost five inches higher and angled five degrees steeper. Now for the fun part. We're going big boar hunting to see which one has the best power and ride, the new Sportsman XP850 or the Outlander 800. So let's head out to the Sportsman Shootout. In the real world, pulling power is the ultimate ATV tough test. For a fair fight, let's go head to head on the weight transfer sled. The Outlander chugs off the line and drags the sled to 61 feet. The new Sportsman XP hooks up faster and pulls harder, moving the sled 22% farther to 74 feet. A quick pull is one thing, but in the real world, jobs like working a food plot mean pulling a load for hours at a time. We'll put both ATVs on a dynamometer to simulate a maximum load condition and see how long it takes them to overheat. First, the Outlander. It took just 16 minutes, 39 seconds for the hot light to come on. The new Sportsman XP with the largest big bore radiator went 30 minutes at maximum load and the hot light still hadn't come on. That's extreme performance. When it's time to unleash all that big bore power, you need an ATV that can get the job done. We'll run each ATV off the line for 10 seconds and see which one hooks up and delivers the most power to the ground. The Outlander goes 659 feet. The Sportsman also goes 659 feet. It's a best in class tie. Out on the trail, the earth is not your mother. She's going to try and stop you with mud, stumps, windfalls, and boulders. We'll compare how fast the two vehicles deliver extra traction. Let's say the metal stop on this rolling road is a big underwater route. You need more traction. The Outlander's four-wheel drive system uses ViscoLock. It starts by locking in three of the four wheels, and when it senses a loss of traction, it powers the fourth wheel. Trouble is, it makes you wait. Compare that to the Sportsman XP. Its on-demand, true all-wheel drive system jumps to action with just a fifth of a wheel turn, sending full forward traction to all four wheels. Pulling power, cooling, and four-wheel traction. In a herd of big boars, Sportsman XP is the new alpha male. A 
Now, many big bore ATVs are like this elephant gun. Lots of power, but they make flinch every time you pull the trigger. There's no flinching on the new Sportsman XP, because the ride is better than ever. But check this out. There's a new front suspension with dual A-arms and longer travel. And they improved the rear suspension, too. It has rolled IRS with four degrees of tip back and the longest travel. Now, these are the biggest stock wheels ever put on an ATV, 14 inches. It's not just for show. It actually improves steering. See, the bigger rims allow the engineers to move the hub deeper into the wheel. That moves the steering axis closer to the center of the tire. So more of the force from hitting a rock or a rut is absorbed by the suspension, so you feel it less in the handlebars. They call it anti-kickback steering. So bigger wheels, longer A-arms, and more suspension travel. You add it all up, and you get one more thing. Higher ground clearance, 12 inches worth. Jump on and you'll discover a whole new way to sit on an ATV. See, so you straddle other big bores, but you ride the XP. Because we turn the engine 90 degrees, the seat is three and a quarter inches narrow at the knees and five inches narrow at the feet. So your legs and feet are closer together so you can grip the machine, just like riding a sport quad. Now let's head back to the Sportsman Shootout and compare the ride of the Sportsman XP to the Outlander 800. Check it out. Trying to tame the rocks can be pretty intimidating, especially if it means arm wrestling the handlebars. That won't happen on the Sportsman XP. To compare steering, we'll attach an accelerometer at the handlebars of each vehicle and take them over the bump track. The Outlander goes first, followed by the Sportsman XP. It's easy to feel the difference, but tough to show it on video. That's where the accelerometer comes in. We'll graph the results. Hitting the bumps, the Outlander had an average force at the handlebars of 5.5 Gs. The Sportsman XP tested out at 4.3 Gs. That's roughly 28% less handlebar shock, which means much easier steering. For the ultimate and easy steering, the Sportsman XP is also available with electronic power steering. Power steering isn't even an option on the Outlander. Ruts logs, massive boulders. Keeping the ride smooth takes a sophisticated suspension and lots of travel. Travel is the distance from the bottom of the suspension stroke to the top. The Sportsman XP has nine inches of front travel, two inches more than the Outlander. In back, the XP has 10.25 inches, 1.25 inches more. That's the highest you can get in a big bore ATV for the smoothest ride on extreme terrain. Ever been looking downhill on an ATV? Sportsman XP has the best downhill control by combining active descent control and engine braking. The two systems work together to electronically monitor and control engine braking to give you smoother, easier descents. In this test, with no hand or foot brakes applied, the Outlander came down the hill at almost eight miles per hour. The XP crawls down at just five miles per hour, delivering superior control. Better steering, suspension, and downhill braking. Sportsman XP easily outrides the Outlander. The new Sportsman XP. XP stands for Extreme Performance, and that's your silver bullet.